Hey, it's day 164. Anas in the countryside with the prophet. The prophet from time to time would take Anas with him and they would go sightseeing in the wilderness. While walking, he would tell him about beautiful things. Anas would record in his memory every single word and try to practice it. The prophet used to want Anas to have a beautiful and rewarding life. He used to say, My dear son, do your ablution completely and nicely so that your life will be long and so that the guardian angels will love and protect you. When you bathe, do it completely and nicely. Make the root of every hair wet. The water should go through your hair and clean your skin entirely. If you do this, you will leave your bathing place free of sins. All your mistakes will be forgiven. The prophet used to give him a lot of advice with sweet words. My son, do your ablutions and always be ready to pray for as long as you can. Try to observe your salah, the five daily prayers as much as possible. If you pay attention to this, all the angels will pray for you. Anas greatly admired the prophet's prayers. He wanted to pray exactly the same way he did. The prophet used to understand his desire and say, Dear Anas, when you bow during the prayer, grab your knees with your palms. Separate your fingers from each other and don't bring your elbows close to your body. When you stand up from the bowing position, Every bone in your body should settle. You should have an upright stance. When you prostrate yourself on the ground, put your palms completely on the ground. Don't prostrate yourself like a rooster pecking food from the ground. Don't hurry. Take your time. In self-prostration, don't put your elbows on the ground. Try to avoid looking right or left during prayer. Anas was never bored while listening to the prophet. He never wanted him to keep quiet, but always to teach him something new. The prophet used to say, Dear Anas, have respect for your elders and love the youngsters. Read the Quran constantly, because the Quran gives life to dead hearts. It protects men from evil and ugly things. It protects you from transgression. My dear son, do not ever hold grudges in your heart against anyone. Try to go throughout the day in this way. If you are successful in this, on the day of judgment, you will find it very easy to give an account of yourself. Anas promised the prophet that he would obey his words for the rest of his life. He would live his life the way the prophet did, and he would try to put everything he said into practice. Anas had grabs true happiness and was a very fortunate boy.